Students today are digital creators. They create songs, videos, and app to convey their thoughts and ideas, and their learning is shaped throughout that process. The students are very familiar with technology most of the time, and they are sometimes teaching me things about technology along the way. I am trying to connect their knowledge and use of technology that they're using every day and connecting that to the academics that they're learning at Fresno State. We serve a very creative group of students. It just seems like every year uh, each and every group comes in and they're you know, a little more creative and a little more eager to display what they've learned and display what they know. And I think those technology tools really provide an opportunity for that that surpasses anything that we've been able to do prior. Learning by doing is very different from memorizing from a textbook or watching someone else doing it. Students play with the tool and figure out ways to apply it into their projects. They try and fail and try and fail and try it again, and it works. The process is nonlinear, dynamic, and offers students hands-on experience, which promotes better retention of materials. It's really helped me um, to go above and beyond what I would normally feel like I'm capable of. This class is very hands-on, and we're really encouraged to try new things, things that we wouldn't normally do on our own. And so it's really beneficial because you don't realize that you can use something until you do it. I feel like I can be very resourceful. It's like a resource classroom because going into the classrooms today to be able to have this information behind you will help support you in your teaching to keep the students engaged. Well, in this class, everything is hands-on. And with me, I need to be hands-on to be able to learn it to be able to use it and to be able to keep the information in my head so that I can teach others to use it. At Fresno State, we're trying to do just that, to harness the learning by doing mindset among our future teachers so they can meet their student in their learning process. It's pretty useful to have all these different screens together because with the way that the classroom's oriented, you can be looking in any direction so the teacher can move around and they never have to like lose sight of what the teacher's talking about. If we need to look up a definition or to be able to type something up, it's just right there in front of you. You can use it, you can look it up. It enables us to do group work, especially with Google Docs and like shared documents. And I feel stronger going into a classroom as like a teacher because now I've been introduced to this. So it's one less fear of something I have to learn I already feel like professionally ready for, like a classroom or a career. One of the main focuses in this class is that we can collaborate together and then use the technology in the moment. So we're not just taking in the information and then redistributing it throughout our own lives. We're taking it in and then using it now, which I think is really, really useful. So I think from a student perspective, it allows students to begin to use technology in the ways that it actually is used outside the classroom, right? Beyond just sitting and, and filling out quiz responses, right? They can create things, they can work on collaborative documents, uh, they can access social media, and it really helps to mirror the kinds of practices that seem to be valued in society today. We help students develop the sense of ownership and collaboration in their study, embrace risk-taking, and bring learning closer to life through the use of technology.